Hello, Tim Gray with another episode of Tim Gray TV coming to you from the beautiful Palouse region of eastern Washington state. This time taking a look at the neutral in neutral density. So neutral density filters are like sunglasses for your lens so that you can reduce the amount of light coming into the lens and therefore get longer exposures. And with a strong neutral density filter, you can even get reasonably long exposures during daylight hours. So it can be a lot of fun. You can get some very interesting photos. But remember, neutral density, density means the density, the fact that they're like sunglasses for your lens. Neutral means they're supposed to be color neutral, and not all neutral density filters are created equal in this regard. Now, when it comes to shooting in RAW, does it really matter that much if the filter is perfectly neutral? Quite frankly, not terribly so. It depends on how far away from neutral that filter is. But I got a tip that the filters from Breakthrough Photography were especially neutral, so I decided to give them a little bit of a test. Now, I should point out right from the start, this is not a comp competition against multiple neutral density filters. It's not really a scientific test. I'm not testing all of the available neutral density filters, just getting a sense of some of the differences between particular filters. So I've been using the B plus W neutral density filters for quite a while. I've been very happy with them. I heard about these breakthrough photography filters, and I decided to give them a try. I have one right here. The funny thing is the front coating on this filter looks a little bit reddish purple, kind of magenta looking so you'd think there's no way that's going to, to produce a neutral result. But I've done some tests out here. I found a scene, we've got some color, yellow sign, a red barn, green hillside, blue sky, just to give me some colors so that I've got some something to compare in terms of the color results in my photo. I also locked in a preset for my color temperature. Easy enough today, it's a sunny day, and so I could simply dial in the sunny preset for that color temperature, and that locks in a specific white balance setting so that I'm not altering that setting, I'm not letting the camera change the setting based on a filter. Then I captured a photo, of course, a baseline photo with no neutral density filter at all to see what the color looks like. That color looks very accurate, as we would expect. A sunny preset on a sunny day, the color looked great. Then I added my trusty B plus W neutral density filter. This happens to be a six stop filter and captured an exposure, in this case, a one second exposure. And I did notice a little bit of a shift toward yellow. Now with my longer exposures with this filter, I have seen a little bit of a magenta cast. In any event, here I was seeing a little bit of a yellow cast. I then switched to the Breakthrough Photography ND filter, and I was actually very surprised. The same settings, everything locked in manually, and with a one second exposure, the result was noticeably more neutral than I was getting with my B plus W filter. Now again, this is not a test of every neutral density filter out there, but rather just to underscore that not all filters are created equal. Now, I can always apply some color correction when I'm processing my raw captures in post, but of course, I'd rather minimize that if possible. And sometimes with certain neutral density filters, I found that it can be a challenge to get the color accurate because there's a variable effect on different colors in the photo, and that can be tricky to solve for. So I certainly am happy with the results I'm getting with these new breakthrough photography filters. You might give them a look, but again, pay attention with your neutral density filters. Make sure that the reviews indicate that they really are neutral. Do some testing if you get the opportunity, because having a really neutral neutral density filter will make your workflow that much easier. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Tim Gray TV.